Hi, this is Navneet uh, presenting my video series called Speak Up where I am speaking to fellow Australians who are stuck around the world. Today with me I have Vikas who is currently stuck in Mohali and uh, he has a pretty harrowing experience having to go back under very extreme circumstances. I will uh, go straight to Vikas and let him tell us what he's going through. Hi, Vikas. Hello, Lundit. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm happy that I'm back in Australia, but I see that uh, still more than 18,000 Australians are stuck in different parts of the world and they have so many, uh, going through so many difficult situations. Tell me, how did you end up in uh, India? Yeah, uh, Ji, look, uh, I uh, got very compassionate circumstances, actually, and uh, I just came not long ago, probably about five weeks ago, I ended up here. Uh, my mother got diagnosed, actually, with the metastatic lung, uh, lung cancer, which is on stage four, and mm-hmm. it was actually a news like, you lost someone in your family. It was absolutely like that, and especially in pandemic. Um, and then I have to come back here to look after my mom because she ended up in the hospital because the, the problem gone into every way in the body. It's not into the lungs. It's, it's just gone to the spine and you name it, it's in the body. Yeah. So, and and uh, they, they're going through, we actually from Amritsar, but okay. there's no better hospital to do the treatment for this particular problems. Mm-hmm. So especially we wanted to go to Bombay or, or we wanted to go to Delhi for the better hospitals, but we could not go there because of, as you know, COVID is yeah. re- really on yeah. peak in India. And um, especially in her situation, you know, respiratory problems and all that, we could not go anyway. So Mohali was the best option. Mm-hmm. And uh, we bring her here. And she was actually bedridden at the start. And uh, the doctors recommend to do the back surgery straight away. We had no choice mm-hmm. uh, because the condition of medical condition was very, very bad, bedridden. And she's only 56. And uh, let me ask you a so question. A, uh, are you, uh, what passport do you have? I'm citizen. I'm Australian, Australian citizen. citizen. I got an Australian so, citizen, uh, because but I got OCI. I, I have a few people I am in contact with who are an Australian. In fact, I have an Australian passport. And when I was going to India, I was stopped at Thailand saying that you can't proceed because only Indian citizens are allowed to go back to India. I had a similar yeah, situation. Yes. So currently yes. also a lot of uh, Australian uh, passport holders cannot travel to India because India is only allowing people with Indian passport. So how did you get that expense, exemption? I got the exemption in two days from Australian government and I mm-hmm. really appreciate that for that from uh, Australian government because I told them I put the certificates of medical, the, uh, medical certificates, I attach uh, all the information of my mother's sickness. Uh, along with my application online uh, for the exemption and uh, then I call uh, what they call the uh, uh, Australian Health High Commission I actually literally called them and I told them the situation as well and they put me in the uh, what they call the fast track queue and after they put me in next day uh, they gave me the exemption on my with my but situation traveling to India don't you need permission from the Indian government Yes, you do need, but that that was actually that phase been looked after by Gora Travel. Uh, okay, okay. They they basically they they put everything in, and I uh, you know and they fill up a couple of uh, I think two forms I had I need to fill it up, but I, I filled yeah. those ones up before I fly here, and uh, okay, okay, it was okay. okay for them. So I didn't have any problems. I came via Sri Lanka on Sri Lankan Airlines, one of the mm-hmm. charter flights, and I did not have any problem coming back here. All right. So now you're facing problems coming back to Australia. Absolutely. Now the problem, my biggest problem now is to come back because the cost of uh, the treatment my mom is going through and uh, is immense. Is is actually, I don't know how we're going to do it. Put it this way. And I am the main bread earner here at, mm-hmm. in my family over here as well. Plus, back home in Australia as well. I got two boys, mortgages, work, everything to look after. Mrs. And I'm stuck here. I need to get back there so I can continue my work as well 
uh, so I can pay all the expenses and everything because that's most needed at the moment practically. So why your wife is in Australia? My wife is in Australia. Yeah, she's in Sydney. Uh, she's working here. She's working here. Uh, have you tried uh, uh, accessing some kind of financial assistance from Centrelink? Or I won't be a, I won't be able to get any because I'm overseas. They won't yeah. give me anything. My work, my wife work full time. I work full time. I'm self employed. Yeah. But the thing is, while I'm here, I can't make any money. And uh, the thing is, and I, I need to get back there. And especially with this uh, assistance or anything, you need to be in Australia to get some assistance. And I, I just can't get any assistance at all, all no. from finances. Uh, let me let me interrupt here. You just said you are self employed. Yes. Uh, I believe if you're self-employed, you can uh, access JobKeeper because I did uh, that and uh, yeah. they approved it. So, oh, they uh, did? Yeah, they did. I I got to know late. In fact, I, I missed out the first two months, but then uh, okay. my accountant told me that I could apply from India. So I did that yeah. and uh, they started paying me. So you could probably look into that. And uh, I'm sure if somebody okay. else is also listening and they are self-employed, this is an avenue which we can explore. So that might right. be of a little help. You know, it's not yes. much, mo- not too uh, much money, absolutely. but yes, whatever comes in. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, absolutely. another this thing is, is- <laughs> uh, if you do get approved for JobKeeper, then when you come here, you won't have to pay the quarantine cost. Okay, that's another so, thing. That's good to know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, do look into that. Now, uh, have yeah, you okay. tried uh, talking to the Australian High Commission to placing you on a priority list or something like that? Yes, I did uh, email them uh, yesterday and uh, I just mm-hmm. uh, gave them all the scenario, all the situation. So I hope so. Fingers crossed that they, they give me some priority. And I heard la- uh, la- uh, lately they are actually the tickets are have been booked by AHC. I'm not sure if it is correct or not correct, but so that's why I just sent them an email yesterday with all my details. The tickets have been booked by AHC. I mean, uh, they are booking the tickets. Uh, is that what you want that's to say? What, that, that's what I heard. Yes. That's what people uh, are saying here. I haven't heard that. Uh, I, yep. I would rather call up AHC. I mean, AHC has a local number in Delhi. If you, yep. you can also call up and speak to them and find out what the situation is. Okay, because I will. When Hold I was on. in yep. India, I spoke to them and they said, we have nothing to do with the airlines. Uh, we, okay. we only pass on the instructions or the regulations, uh, you know, announced by the Australian government. So do make okay. sure because uh, otherwise... what happened is, uh, Navneeji, I think what happened, uh, a lot of complaints uh, are, have been lodged and people are complaining a lot on online, on social media and everywhere yes. uh, of how, how, the, how the people are getting treated with the Air India websites. And yes. especially this particular 22nd and 26th, these two flights uh, been op- never been opened for any bookings yeah. or anything, and yeah. uh, so so one of the agents, good agents, actually he told me uh, he's really good fr- family friends. They actually told me that now not even agents can't book anything through Air India. So AHC is actually picking and choosing people now to pr- on the priority basis to who who's gonna go and who's not gonna go. Oh, okay. So that is the situation at the moment. Yeah. I think that if that happens, then uh, at least, uh, you know, the, the problem with getting through to Air India and them bumping off people, that will will be resolved. So That's I think the need... resolution of, I think that's the thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the 22nd flight, has it already flown or? Uh, because it's, it's flown and I heard some people already, yeah, some people already there. I, I saw something on the, uh, in the, that page the facebook page we are all on the australian stuck in mm-hmm. india yeah yeah and that people are there's a whatsapp group actually someone put it on as well the link that people already reached there today and okay uh, okay so, uh, so that definitely the flight flown yesterday for sure so the 26th one is it already booked out or uh, are you still trying for that uh everything is booked out that that's what they're doing uh, that uh, everything is sold out so so now you no one have to wait actually for the... a mystery yeah, so you'll have to wait for the next announcement. Next announcement, who knows when in September? There's no one knows nothing. Yeah. Well, I've I just uh, read a piece of news today that uh, uh, 
I don't know whether it's because of us making so much noise, but the federal government is looking at increasing the cap. So if yeah. that happens, maybe we can get more people in. But I would definitely, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I would definitely keep in close contact with the EHC. Just pester them. I think uh, if you give them a good enough reason, they can put you on the priority list. I hope so. That's what they're saying. That uh, the priority list is basis basis on your compassionate grounds, plus yeah. on your on your on on your passport. Uh, basically, on your passport, if, if someone is a citizen. They got. Yeah. They are getting the first priority, even over PR or any other visa yeah, class who, are, who can fly or not. So, yeah. I feel sorry for the people stuck on the PR or any other situation. Any, everyone at the moment, but, but it, it is just a bad timing. Uh, I would say everything will, will get resolved very soon. Fingers crossed. We just gone through the hardest time of the life. I, you know, it just. I know. But 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 you have to lift up your head, you know, and and, and your emotions and everything. Don't worry. I would say everyone just hold your horses. Everything will be okay. It's just the time. It is just the time. Uh, because I'm going to share this video on my profile, and I will also send you a copy. I would like you to share it with as many people possible, especially if you have uh, people in Australia who are close to some politicians or some, uh, you know, government officials. Uh, the idea is to put this across to people who can make a difference. I, and because the last video we did, I believe somebody got a call from Bill Shorten saying that he's going to raise this question in the parliament. So if we can make enough noise, uh, I'm sure we can get things done. So please share it as much as possible. And uh, I wish I can only wish you all the best. And Sorry, if I, I just, get I any more you. information, I will share it with you. Yeah, I just... I think I've lost you on the sound. I just lost the sound. Yes, got, I've got you back. Okay. I've got you back. Yeah. So please share it as much as possible. All right. Thank you so much, Navneeji, and uh, thank you for your effort. And uh, oh, no. I'm happy for you that you are fine with your uh, COVID and everything. Yeah, and, uh, I am. I am. With your, uh, with your positive response to community and everything. Uh, no, I, can, I really admire you. Good on you. I can and God bless probably you. truly say that I'm a COVID warrior now, <laughs> as they say it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, God willing, everything right. will be fine. And soon, I think we will all be Thank back you so home. Much. You're welcome. Man. Thank, you. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with Thank us. You, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.